What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to, to get into So Real Tea, Regine finally done with Amar, Sneaky Link drop. I don't know. Let's get it. <laughs> what is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. You guys all know Regine Carter has been booked and busy. Well, guys, she has finally wrapped up one of her big projects that she has been working on. The name of this movie is Nothing Even Matters. And guys, I will say from the little clips, Regine, even a few of her cast members stated that they loved working with her. But make sure you guys stay tuned for this movie whenever it does come out. Here. I will keep you guys posted. And make sure you leave your comments She's down below and let us know. What do you think? Let's get into Amar. Yesterday, I posted that Amar's sneaky link exposed him. Well, guys, since then, she took to YouTube and she dropped a tell-all where she explained everything that happened. Now, if you guys haven't watched it, I will drop the link in the bio. Make sure you guys head over to her channel and check that out. It's just crazy to me that even after all of this, Amar still went behind and unblocked the young lady and texted her and told her that she got used and just to get over it. Honestly, Damn. guys, I'm not even sure what was the point of him unblocking. You got used, get over it is crazy. Her to text her that. Like, I don't get it, but these influencers keep putting themselves in situations that they can't get out of. Like, this girl done experience exposed him on instagram she done post all of their conversation and dropped a youtube video why go back and antagonize that young lady when she genuinely said that she was messing with you and bought you something out of the kindness of her own heart it's either you give her the money back so you think i was gonna wife a girl like you <laughs> Oh my God. Back, or you just move on. You already blocked her. Why unblock her? But guys, you leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Do you guys believe Armar is really texting her? Or do you believe she's trolling and making up these, these fake text messages? Now that has I been- I ain't gonna lie because that was a hell of a text. A lot of that going on. I've seen some other incidents all over social media where people are exposing people, but they're faking the messages. I hope this is not one of those instances, but but you never know, guys. I mean, she done went out and made a whole YouTube video. And, you know, I genuinely believe that she posted the order that she bought, you know, of the things that she bought him and things like that. So it seems very real to me. I just hope Amar, you know, is not out here antagonizing this girl. Like, it is what it is. Like, you told her to move on, and she got used. Like, hey, you got your gifts. And, you know, you got spoiled. Like, move on. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Comment down below, guys, and let us know. I don't know if she's cool. I don't give a fuck. Yes, I DM him. And he answered. Depending on my bad bitch, I give a fuck. I want. So, yeah, I DM him, and he answered or whatever. We have a quick little conversation on Instagram. We done leave to him, giving me his number. So he gave me his numbers and at days, I was with a couple of days, two days, three days. I don't know how many days it was, but he got pulled in one night, like at three o'clock in the morning. And we were at three o'clock in the morning and then Chase says it's two o'clock. So he had pulled me, woke me but in my sleep and I been him like, hello. He's like, um, this bitch is in front of my crib and she's not leaving. So I'm like, what you mean a bitch is in front of your crib? Like, how are you even comfortable to call me and tell me a bitch is in front of your crib and where it's supposed to be? Talking or vibing or whatever, so I'm just like whatever. I'm just like saying we gotta say. Talking and vibing at 3 a.m. is not realistic, but I just watched this on T Room channel, so it's more. T Room didn't put that much. It's just for safety reasons. I'm just after Jackie Jordan came, then I'm like, bro, don't do nothing stupid because at the end of the day, that's still a girl. Like, don't do nothing stupid. So he was like, um. It's all right, I'm single where because I got, um, he, he went in the house to get something. My bad, this is, from, this is before Jack and Jordan came. He went in the crib to get something, and I'm like, bro, don't do nothing stupid, because at the end of the day, that's... I definitely had knock, don't do nothing stupid, Papa. Man, I'm on that time. <laughs> I'm serious, shake my head. You're going to have me worry all night. This, I guess that's why I don't F with my efforts, mother efforts. You can't trust everyone to be honest. I don't know the person. Still a girl, like don't do nothing stupid. Like, I'm not. I'm about to fuck up the thing. Do something to a female. But he is a YouTuber, y'all. So in my head, it's just for safety reasons. I'm just Jordan after Jack and Jordan came. If the girl left, or whatever. I'm guessing. I don't fucking know. Cause when I called her back, he was like, "Everything's good. I'm in the house right now." So I'm like, "Okay, cool. What you about to do?" He was like, I'm shit, I'm about to just stay on the phone with you. I'm about to go to the phone. I'm like, okay, cool. So he's getting ready for bed. 
put on the do rag and shit. I'm gonna bring me ready for bed because he literally just woke me up. So he put on the do rag, lay down, and he was drunk as fuck. Yeah, this nigga knocked out less than a minute or two. It was like, so now she lay down, he was asleep. So I was like, all right, I'm going back to sleep. And he was still on the phone, but I thought I put on you. That situation over, days were on, and he's asked me, what am I getting up for his birthday? So I'm like, <clears throat> on, and he's asked me, what am I getting what you getting for me? What you getting me for my birthday? I don't know what you getting me. Figure that out. Can't figure it out if you never told me things you like, to be honest. LOL. Don't know your size or nothing. Just tell me what you want. Shoe size 10 to half or 11. Hoodie medium. Shirts medium. Pants 31, 32. He little. Yeah, birthday. So I'm like, I can't get you nothing if you never told me what you like or what you wanted. Asking for a gift is crazy. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the type of time they was on, but that's crazy. <laughs> so he told me what he wanted or whatever. It was, um, what was it? It was an intake, something for the front of his car and something for the back of his car. And it was some Dior sneakers, some B22s or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. So he told me what he wanted. I had ordered it. And that first order, me and him got to an argument because I asked him, why did we get into argument? We got into an argument at that time about him being a weird towards me because he wasn't answering my texts and that's he always answered me so I feel like he's being weird. Like when I called him he didn't answer when I text him, he didn't answer He don't answer that shit, he sleep or he in some ass. Period. But <laughs> he said it was because he was driving. I don't know if he was really was driving but when I mm, or driving, but ah. I question him about it. Me and him was hard but mind you I was drunk that yeah, when me and him got to our argument. I could have been dragging it, I could have been overthinking cause sleep, getting some ass or playing a game. I am overthinking, we got to our argument, he got me. So I'm like, okay, cool. The order got canceled. So that time the, when I first ordered the intake, it got canceled. So me and I wasn't talking. Mind you, when me and I wasn't talking, I'm still like the generous, kindest girl that still but if I care for you, I really care for you. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to say whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that I give a fuck and I care about you. So he, you ain't got to buy nothing to show nobody you care about him for. You ain't got to buy him a goddamn thing. Okay. I'm talking to me. I had a ain't got to buy you nothing either. Sometimes, you know, conversation is a must. Uh, looks, character, things like that. Like my heart, just me and me. I sent him $100 to get him. A haircut. I didn't think he was going to unblock me. I didn't think he was going to still talk to me. I just did it to did it because that's who I am as a person. My husband, before I signed the $100 job, he wasn't talking to me. He wasn't, he wasn't, um, he wasn't communicating with me. He wasn't doing none of that. Like, well, I mean, none of that, none of that. But as soon as I send you $100, you can pick up your phone and you can unblock me. Like, that to me, it gave he was trying to use me in a way, but not use me in a way. Or he probably thought I was a trick. I don't know what the fuck you thought, but even if you have thought that as a person I am, you shouldn't leave somebody going like that at all. Even if I did that for the kindness of my heart, you don't block me because I got the same money. What if I was just doing that to see when your head was at? Or like, you know, that don't, that don't make sense. So after that $700, he unblocked me and he was talking. I apologize for the way I was acting or whatever. He accepted it. I ain't do nothing that was all you. Yeah, I could take the blame for that. To be honest, was drunk as hell. Got to do better. I don't be effing with that. Yeah, I figured, but I apologize once again. He's accepted. LOL. About time. Right. How you been? I've been Gucci. Just been working and shit. Enjoying life. How you been? So, my before this job, I sent some money because I'm just a person. I'm good. I'm a camper. I sent money for so he can get something to eat. This time, I didn't have his address and I got to send the money. He showed me that he ordered food to the house and he got waste out. I could put the video right here for him or that raised waste out. So when he sent me the video from ordering the waste out, I heard a female in the background. So I questioned him, y'all. But before I questioned him, so the nigga seemed like I'm just questioning him, it was one time before all of this, we was on the phone and I was talking to my sister because she was cute. She seen what in his background? Yeah, for him or that raised waste out. So when he sent me the video from ordering the waste out, I heard a female in the background. Oh. So I questioned him, y'all. But before I questioned him, so the nigga seemed like I'm just questioning him. It was one time before all of this. We was on the phone and I was talking to my sister because she was she was in the house with me. So I'm talking to my sister that I'm talking to her. He's like, oh, that better not be a nigga. That better not be a nigga. So yeah, it's like he's questioning. 
mind you that when he questioned me, I answered back like that. I thought that that's my sister. So if you questioning me, I feel it's okay if I question you because it's like it's only right. If you can do something to a person, the other person should be able to do something to you too, right or wrong. If you question the person, the other person, the other person should be able to question you too. So if like he questioned me about that, that's one thing he questioned me about. Who was I talking to? And it better not be a nigga. His words, it better not be a nigga. So I'm like, okay, cool, be on this type of timing. We can be on this timing, because you want to do my back to go with me and ask me what you want to ask me. When I want to ask you what the fuck I want to ask you, you should be okay with it. Like, it should not be no, oh, you're not my bitch. You shouldn't question me. His favorite lines is, oh, you're not my bitch. But when it came to you asking me who the fuck was I talking to, I didn't tell you you wasn't my nigga. I gave you the respect and I told you who the fuck I was talking to, but you couldn't do the same. That shit lame as fuck. And then any female here, female in the background. Of These girls expecting the same from the niggas, uh, expecting the same treatment from the niggas like they give the niggas, and it's just not gonna happen. Big yo, nigga, I'm punching you. So I'm like, who that? He like, oh, that's my. Hello, am I bugging or I heard you, a girl say your name and you giggle real hard. You sure did hear my sis, the hell? Uh-huh, okay, I guess even though I feel otherwise because the way you laugh too hard, but cool. That's my, that's my sister. So I'm my sister, okay, I can show that message. And then he was like, oh, he said the video of his sister and Jordan in the video. So I'm like, okay, cool. Then he was like, oh, but you got my bitch, so I don't First off, you're not my girl at all. Fuck, I need a lot of you for. Could care less what you think. And yeah, hit me later. Uh, hit me later on, because you weird. <laughs> I got a lot of you, so, um, he's a thing like, I'm not the bitch, you don't got a lot of me. Some shit like that. So I was like, okay. To watch the full video, make sure you guys head over to her channel and check that out. She had a, a lot more receipts in there I'm and things the like that. But I will not repost her whole video here. Make sure you guys hit the link in the bio and head over to her channel and hear what she has. All right, y'all. I'm about to watch the rest of that video because I want to see it. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.